Hey everyone, it's Angela here and you just saw a shop at the antique store and we sure got some good deals. So I'm just going to go over the things that I got and I actually did a little bit of research to find out how much they are worth now. I don't always do that, but I'm giving you a little inside scoop, okay? So um, first thing, I, I got a lot of children's things, which is super fun. Um, first item is this Winnie the Pooh plate and it's not super vintage, um, but it definitely is um, a little bit older. I got it for $4.25 and I can sell it for about $20. Okay, next thing is this Curious George plate. I don't know if very many of you read the Curious George books when you were kids, but I know I sure did. Uh, this plate is a divided plate, so you can put veggies and meat and bread or your food groups, who knows what that is these days, in the little sections here. Uh, this was made in Taiwan, but it was actually designed, or the company is from Spokane, Washington, which is near us. So that, it was $7.49, and I can sell it for about $20 online. Here's another poo item. So this is a figurine and a mug gift set. You can see that. Isn't that super cute? And it's from Royal Dalton, and I bought it for $7, and I can sell it for about $28. Um, it looks like there's a little poo figurine on top. He's reading a book. And then Pooh is reading uh, a book and writing cards with um, Piglet in the mug. Love that. Uh, next item is this Fitz and Floyd pot. I mean, check that out, right? Isn't that fabulous? So I checked it out pretty closely and I couldn't find any nicks or chips. I mean, he still has his little bunny ears. Um, but yeah, this was Fitz and Floyd made in 1992 in Taiwan. You can kind of see, I don't know if that's upside down for you or not, uh, but you could use that as a vase or a pot around Easter or springtime. Uh, I bought this for only $9 and I can sell it for about 38. Love that. Uh, here's another fun children's thing. So this was a, this is a soaker. This is Theodore from Alvin and the Chipmunks. And I honestly, I don't know if it had a little sprayer or if this was just for bubbles, um, but it doesn't have any internal contents there. But this would be fun if you were an Alvin and the Chipmunks fan just to have on your shelf really and it's kind of plastic i got that for two dollars and fifty cents and i can sell it for 18. and then we have eeyore here eeyore is one of my favorites and he is a little sad eeyore tends to be sad right uh but this mug pretty clean on the inside i don't see any scratches i try to keep stay away from that. Um, it was made in Indonesia. This is from Sakura and this was made in 1997. Um, this I bought for about four dollars and 75 cents and I can sell it for about 15. Okay now we have these wall pockets. Look at those. When I first picked these up, I actually thought that they were bookends. I mean, wouldn't those be cool bookends, right? But they actually have an opening at the top so you can hang them on the wall. There's some holes in the back. You can hang them on the wall and then put some either real or fake flowers on the inside. Um, these would just look so cute 
next to each other and kind of a farmhouse kitchen, right? Or in the living room or really any room. Bathroom would be great. Um, these I think I got for about $10 and I can sell them for about $45. Okay, some more children's dishes. So these dishes are their um, Spode Copeland, so from England, and this is the Pets Farm set. And look how cute that is. So this was originally $25, but of course our trip, everything in our trip, we got 30, about 30 to 50% off. And I can sell this for um, about 45. And okay, who, where are my Disney fans and my Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs fans? So these are some mugs. These are from the 1960s and we have Sleepy and Doc here. They are so cute. Now Doc has, is a little worse for wear though. He's got some chips on the lip there. I'm going, I would normally sell these separately, but because Doc has some chips, I'm going to sell them together for about 30 and I paid uh, $12.75 for both of them. All right, now this, I got this and a, a snack tray set of four uh, for $12.50. I just love this blue rooster. He is just so fabulous. And the plates, these are the plates. So the plates originally had cups that matched and I wish that I had the cups, but I don't. But I still think they're very usable. Um, you could just put a block of cream cheese over this, um, pour some uh, pepper jelly on top, put the crackers on this side. You could have different crackers and cheese on each one, a sort of serving dishes. Uh, you can hang this on the wall or you could put some meats or whatever you want on this one. Um, but these are Nasco, so they're from Japan. And um, I think I can sell these for about, about $40. We will see, right? Next item, this is going to be a gift item. I'm not, I'm not going to resell this. My niece collects uh, Disney items and she actually used to work at Disneyland before COVID hit. Uh, she's back up here with us, so it's nice to have her closer, but I know she would love to be down at Disneyland right now. Um, but this is a tray, it's a metal tray. And I, I don't know the age of it, but won't it just look so cute leaning up against her wall in her kitchen? Or you could even use a plate hanger and hang it on your wall too. Or I've also heard another great tip for these metal trays, if you wanna use them as wall art, you could just use um, some of the removable stick tape on the back, okay? So that I bought for $5. I could sell it for $25, but I'm giving it as a gift. This book just cracked me up when I saw it. So I got it for $4.20 and I can sell it for about $20. It's the little woman who forgot everything. Isn't that hilarious? <laughs> this is from 1961, uh, the Gels Widmer Company uh, copyright. And it's just, I think it's hilarious. These kind of kitschy type books sell really well in my bookstore. If you haven't checked out my bookstore, it's Our Retro Reads. Etsy.com. Okay, next item is this Pooh and Piglet Bank. Banks sell really well. I mean, as we've been going more digital, it's a little surprising, but 
Uh, coin banks sell really well. People love them just for decor or maybe to help children learn how to save. Maybe they still get allowance um, that way, but it even still has its stopper. Uh, if you come across some banks and you don't have stoppers for them, a little tip is to go on Amazon and you can buy stoppers in just about any size. So Melissa and I have went together and we've bought stoppers in a variety of different sizes. So anytime we find a bank doesn't have a stopper, guess what? We can just buy it, pop the stopper in, and we're good to go. And that works for salt and pepper shakers too. This was six dollars. I can sell it for about 25. And if you know me at all, you know that I love Sunbonnet Sue and Holly Hobby. And Melissa actually found these cute pillows and she let me have them. And so together, so one was $4 and one was $6 for some reason. So together they were 10 and I can sell them together for about 35. And who remembers the little people? So this little, I don't know if you call that a big wheel. Do you call that a big wheel or a little car and a little green little person? I got these for $3 and I can sell them for $9.50. I have several other types of cars and vehicles and rocking horses and stuff that I sell individually in my shop and it's they're just super fun. Okay, the next thing that I have is fabric and I love really cool fabric not just your everyday fabric but just but really cool different fabric so this check this out this is so vintage right and i've been trying to find some fabric to cover one of my mom's mid-century wooden chairs and i was shocked to find out how expensive mid-century fabric actually goes for. It can go for about $40 a yard. And this is three yards. I think I will just try to sell this for about, I don't know, somewhere between 40 and 60. I, I wanna do a Google search on this specific print, um, but, but at least upholstery fabric goes for about $40 a yard if it's mid-century. It's just so in style right now, right? Okay, this is a fabric panel and this was uh, Nina, designed by Nina. You might recognize the little bunnies there. How cute is that, right? So this is Nina Daisy Kingdom fabric and you can you cut this out, use it as a quilt topper. Um, you could even just honestly hang it from the wall and use it as wall art. So the fabric I got anywhere from between $2 to $7.50. I think this I got this for $7.50. This is a dresser scarf or table runner. Look at this pattern. I just love the colors. So these I can sell for about uh, between 14 and 20. This is a blue and white angel dresser scarf. This would look great on the mantle too, around the holidays. There, this is a set of six napkins, and I just love the gingham pattern, and then it's got the fringe on the edge. I have a set of six, and I may hold on to these, or I may sell four and keep two. We're redoing our kitchen, and the teal and kind of this white cream are the colors that we're using. So we'll see. You may see that in my shop, and you may not. Um, okay, this is another fun fabric here. Look at those cats. Now I got this cat fabric. 
and one other cat fabric. Look, the cats are all dressed up. And these are, let's see, it says, the, the designs are from Patrick Los for Timeless Treasures Fabric Inc. Then the third fabric that I thought matched these pretty well is this fantastic fabric. Now, this is, I have about three yards of this actually. Can you see those ladies? I mean, that is just so fun. Wouldn't it be fabulous to have a quilt made with this fabric and these two pieces of cat fabric? So this fabric is actually, let me get the name for you. It is Eleanor's Dolls and designed by Eleanor Peace Bailey for Daisy Kingdom in 1992. So these bright colors, they remind me of the 90s, right? So this was designed by a woman named Eleanor, but then this fabric was designed by Patrick. So maybe Eleanor and Patrick live together, maybe they're friends, maybe they know of each other, who knows? We'll see. Uh, next thing are these super cute Christmas napkins. They kind of have, um, this is a set of four. They kind of have a little bit of a Scandinavian feel to them, but very traditional Christmas. These are pillowcases. Look how beautiful that is. That's kind of a periwinkle blue swirl and then some purple and blue roses and then this cream lace on the edge. These remind me of some pillowcases that my mom used to have. A couple more pieces of fabric. Um, this is a table runner or a dresser scarf. This just looks tropical to me. You had a vacation home in Hawaii. This should be on your table. And this piece of fabric, these are appliques or fabric panels. This is another Daisy Kingdom piece and it's called Angels We Have Heard on High. This would be really cute made into a pillow or added to a quilt, or simply just framed and hung on your wall. Okay, my last item is one of my favorite items. I got it for $7.50, and I can sell it for about $65. So it is this doll trunk, and it has just the cutest picture on it with this little white cat holding the flowers. Um, Melissa wants to take a picture of it and frame it just because the image is so cute. And I just love this turquoise color as well. The inside of the trunk is in really good shape too. Uh, the outside, you know, it's been pressed a little bit on the metal there but overall really cute decor piece or even usable to keep your doll things in. So thanks for watching everyone. We hope you enjoyed watching our escapades and our, seeing our fun finds. We'll see you later, bye.